Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another modeling support goods option weapon. This is number 04, the multi-missile pack here. And as you can see, it's just a pack of like these missile tubes and some different attachment things like that. And as you can see in this sample image here on the Frame Arms Girl Go Ride Kit, you can have like the hatches on the front open or closed like that. And so these are just mounted up over the shoulders of different kits or on the legs or on the arms or however you want to do that. And I, should, I think there should be four of them here so you can attach them all together or have them separated like that or have them separated into four separate units so of course there's lots of options that you can do with this set a little bit more stuff in here so we should see a little bit higher price today for this one you have 800 yen for the list price for this so a little bit higher but still i mean it's not too bad we got our instructions here on the back but it should be again pretty simple basically attaching a couple pieces together and that's kind of it as far as weapon sets go right and on a real quick side note for you guys, I noticed something about this is that uh, in, in case you can't read this katakana on here, you want to know what these are called. If you see them in a store or something like that, if, of course, if you see them online, they're probably, you'll, you'll see the name in English. But if you see in a store or something and you just want to read the name, if you look on either the bottom or like the back of the packaging or something, it'll say in really fine print in English, there you go, package contains parts to build one weapon unit 04 multi-missile. So if you're ever confused about reading the katakana there, you can find it in English if you look hard enough. And inside here, our runners are in uh, separate bags, so don't care for that. But it's basically uh, just two of the same set. So oh, well, here we have our two B runners, and here is going to be our two A runners, I guess. So here is the A runner, and again, everything's just all in this dark gray color. So we've got two of those. And then here is the B runner for some more parts on there, including our connection parts as well, too. And we got two of the B runner as well. So let me go ahead and get these put together and then we'll see how they look on some different examples. All right, so pretty straightforward set this time, guys. Basically, you've got uh, four missile pods and a bunch of different connection pieces. Now you've got uh, four of these just regular male-to-male -male connection pieces. And then you've got two of this type one here that you can see. And then two of that type one there. So you got a few different options. And then inside here, two different types of missiles. You've got uh, two tubes here with three small ones and then the other two tubes here have two big ones like that So pretty simple and they're made up of a few sections that you could I believe you should be able to uh, Connect these to make them like longer or shorter as well too here. Yeah, like you can take them apart and like do one of these for example to make this to be a little bit longer with multiple connection points on there uh, like this compared to the shorter size. So you can kind of uh, stack these parts a little bit more if you want to, because it's made up of a few different sections there to make them a little bit longer. Uh, but then, of course, like I said, you just wouldn't be able to make four. You'd only be able to make two or three or something. The thing about these not being a handheld weapon then is that you're not going to be able to use them on a kit like this, for example, that has no three millimeter hard point. So that is where it would be handy to have a, a drill. So say, for example, you wanted to have this, I don't know, connected up onto the back of the Gundam like that or something for some reason or like on a, onto this section like there. Uh, that you need a three millimeter drill to just drill and then make a hole. So it'd be very easy to make a hole, but just so you guys can get a sense of the size of this. For a 100 scale kit, they actually look, I mean, not that large. I think the size is pretty good if you don't want them to be super big, but if you wanted them to look a little bit more sizable, they're probably gonna be better off suited uh, with a 144 scale kit. So you certainly could make these work with a variety of different kits if you want to use these with Gunpla or of course with anything else. I think the size and just the shape and the design of them are quite wide open. I mean, you could, the design looks like it would fit in like a pretty much anything, like in a, in a UC series or even in something like Double O or, you know, Build Fighters, obviously just kind of anything. And then just the size of it also, again, just very versatile. I think if you want to use one with, with 100 scale kits, it would look nice. If you wanted something a little bit smaller or if you wanted it with the 144 scale kits, uh, they're obviously going to look a little bit larger, which is a little bit more intimidating as well. So it kind of depends where they wanted them to be like kind of um, just like sub weapons on like a 1 100 scale kit that make like for a nice just kind of not like the main weapon, you know what I mean? It's like a side weapon. You strap a pair of these onto like the side skirts or like the side of the leg of a Zaku or something like that, for example. I could see that fitting just fine on a 100 scale kit. Or I was like on a 144 scale kit, you might want to have this as like its kind of like main attraction weapon as like up on the shoulders or uh, even attached onto like to the side of the arms or something like that. You could do it, would be pretty cool. So there's definitely some very cool options that you could make with this. And of course, it's going to be very compatible with anything Kodobu 
Google Kia as well too. So anything Frame Arms or Frame Arms Girl, that type of stuff, make up my device, anything like that, you're gonna be able to use these uh, and they're gonna look very cool as well too. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna check out some of these different MSG uh, products from Kotobukiya or other Kotobukiya products or anything else, you can check out the link and the coupon code to US at Gundam store. That is down in the video description below. So check that out. Thank you so much. Until next time, I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.